So for today's question, we're going to explain the relationship between rises in concentration of atmospheric gases and the enhanced greenhouse effect. And this is a total of eight marks, so it's a big question. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the atmospheric gases and give some examples. Most obviously, carbon dioxide. Second most obviously, nitrogen. Least obviously is water vapour, which is what I've written down third of all. And if you give a few examples, and this will get you at least a couple of marks. Now we need to talk about these gases and where they're found. They're found naturally within the atmosphere. And I'm just going to write this right now. So they occur naturally, um, but the interesting case about a greenhouse, the greenhouse effect is that these gases have been, incurring, uh, have been increasing at an increasing rate uh, due, to human, um, due to human activity, and that's mainly due to the combustion of oils, fossil fuels, coals, etc. So remember that you can give examples of human activity as well. So now the next part that we need to talk about is the actual way that the greenhouse effect occurs. And we need to talk about the different types of radiation that is involved. So the first type is UV radiation, which comes in from the sun. And you can remember this by the fact that UV radiation is what causes um, sunburns and skin cancer. So after it enters the sun, then it's then reflected from the earth back into the atmosphere as infrared radiation. So first of all, UV, then infrared radiation. And it's the infrared radiation then that causes the increase in temperature of the Earth or heating up of the atmosphere. And I've written, written this point down twice because it's a relatively important point. Then the final thing that we'll get to is that as a result of this of these increasing temperatures, we have changes in habitats. So colder places they get warmer, and warmer places they get, they get even hotter. So you can give an example of that. So you, in my particular example, I've said it's a melting of the polar ice caps, and this can one of the most obvious um, changes. And this is the one that I put down for now.